go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8. For 60 years, humans have been going into space using rockets. All three engines up and burning. Two, one. They are dirty, and inefficient, lift off, expensive. The final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will but continue. But are they our only choice? Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. Hello, my name is Jakub Kolska, and I'm starting a documentary film about orbital mass drivers. Did I just hear you say, what the f is an orbital mass driver? Well, it's a way of getting into space that doesn't use rockets. It uses a magnetic accelerator instead. A really big magnetic accelerator. This launches people and cargo into space like a giant slingshot. But why make a film about an oversized electromagnetic slingshot? Like me, you love space. You want to go there. See the Earth from above. Float free of gravity. Walk on other worlds. Back here on Earth. Space is expensive. Space is really expensive. Forty million dollars a trip expensive. I don't have that kind of money lying around. You probably don't either. We're ordinary people. How can ordinary people afford space? Our rockets are only choice. There are other ideas. Improbable spinning things in the sky. Cables we don't have the technology to make. But a mass driver? A mass driver might just work. The basic technology already exists. We can build a small example right here. This is my mini mass driver. And this is my spaceship. Yes, it looks like a nail. But if you look closely, it's a cut off nail. The ship goes here. And when we trigger the mass driver, this magnet will pull the ship forward. This one will pull it faster, faster, faster. The more magnets you have, the faster it will go. This is not big enough to launch people. We need to be able to launch bigger things. Things like this. Roger roll, Atlantis. So, we need a longer mass driver for more acceleration, and we need a bigger mass driver to launch vehicles. This means we need a different scale. Scale matters. Scale changes things. Take this bridge. It's small, it's simple. Turn up the scale, make it bigger, and even professional engineers will have problems. This is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington State. There it goes! Rather, it was the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Yeah, bridges are not supposed to do that. We know a mass driver can work in principle. Will it work in practice? Can we scale it up so that we can use it for space launches? And ultimately, will it make space travel affordable for ordinary people? These are the questions that this film is going to answer. 